Yet, uh, um, it seems to me from the material that I found around about Siana, which is absolutely non reliable, okay, but still, that she seemed to be the favorite, um, sort of. I mean, maybe it was just propaganda and uh, there was really no difference between Anarieta and uh, Siana. Maybe Siana was truly more beautiful uh, and that was about it. Um, but still, Siana is the legitimate heir, no, no matter what. So um, she could have a valid claim that is a threat to Anarieta and... It seems uh, like a logical deduction. Um, anyway, if Siana comes at me, I mean, I don't know how I might react. I'm, I certainly won't let myself be killed. I cannot make promises. Can't guarantee her safety, unfortunately. Especially if she's one of those responsible for these crimes. Witcher, that was not a request. Your Grace, Geralt, I'd like to introduce... Regis! What a surprise! What? I had no idea you were in Beauclair. And this is... Uh, my very dear friend, Detlaf van der Eretain. An arrival from Nazaire. We are lending our combined resources to the Witch's Hunt. Ah, yes. Splendid. But why are you here at Oriana's? <laughs> They came to pay me a surprise visit, so I invited Regis in for a glass of wine. We've known each other for... Ooh, ages, yeah. literally. I see. Witcher, I hear you know Regis too. Even that you are friends. How is this even happening? Oh, by the way, Death Love is so f***ing hot. I wish I was Geraldine of Rivia sometimes. Uh... Yes, uh, supposedly we are friends with the Regis, but I'm really confused now. I mean, I'm not confused. Uh, I'm surprised. She's known Regis for ages, right? So, yeah. I have a couple of ideas about that. Few I can rely on like I can on Regis. Kind of hoping he thinks the same of me. Curious. It seems opposites really do attract. Huh? Don't be fooled, dear. Geralt has many merits. He merely hides them from the world very diligently. Mm-hmm. You said you're both aiding him with his contract. It involves the Beast of Beauclair, I suspect. Master Witcher, maybe you could satisfy my curiosity. What's it like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a monster, knowing you've only two options? To kill or be killed. Despite what you might have heard, I don't lunge at every monster I see, sword in hand. Talking gets the job done for some. Hmm. I wonder what a monster might have to say to you. It might want to apologize. My word. Well, what might a monster wish to apologize to a witcher? For killing. Though at times there is no choice when loved ones are at risk and require protection. Are you kidding me? Did you just say that? Uh. Same as humans. Put them in that situation, they'll kill too. You understand this. It must be why you and Regis are friends. If I understand you correctly, you would rather help a monster than kill it. If possible, yeah. Or at least try. Enough about the Witcher trade for now. Regis mentioned you come from Nazaire. I spent time there as a child. Fond memories? It was wonderful. I was positively entranced by the land's fashions. Deep-cut dresses I found most fascinating. I believe we're running short on wine. I should go to the cellar, bring another bottle. Let me go. Wanna help, Regis? Know your wine a lot better than I know mine. We shall return forthwith. This is so f***ing weird, I'm about to explode. An exceptional conversation, don't you think? Vampires, a witcher, and the Duchess of Toussaint? My, my. Highly exceptional, Regis. 
Wanted to talk to you in private. You crazy bringing Detloff here? <coughs> Geralt, uh, allow me to explain. No, let me explain. He's dangerous, and you are gonna watch him. But that is precisely what I'm doing. Detloff believes you'll succeed in your task, and he'll not need to kill anymore. That is, not until he gets his hands on the men who kidnapped his Renner. Alright, maybe Geralt overreacted a bit uh, about Detloff, but uh, it is true that I wanted to answer him that that's no excuse, but I ended up using the option that uh, would diffuse the tension the most because I don't know if I can trust him. Anyhow, how the hell does Anerietta know Regis? That came out of nowhere. Maybe last time we were here, Regis was as well? Oriana, she really your friend? Can she be trusted? Uh, I met her years ago, before I met you, and before she settled in Beauclair. We'd not seen one another in... Uh, oh, uh, I can't begin to tell you in how long. But I shall tell you all about her some other day. I think I have ideas. Don't you worry. Guessing it's no accident you two stopped by. It would be quite some coincidence indeed. No, a dutiful little bird told us. Mm -hmm. I absolutely do not discount the fact that he could betray me. Anyway, I hope I don't end up killing this other girlfriend of yours. Now listen close. Managed to learn where the blackmailers are. Not really, at but... Least at Duntime Castle. <laughs> That's splendid news. If they are there, Renna must be there as well. Duchess expects we'll find her long-lost sister there, too. Thing is, she might be involved. Could be behind the blackmailing. Do you mean to say your task now is to extract two women from the castle? Well... Mean to say we can't breathe a word of this to Dedloff, who wants revenge above all else. Geralt, you must trust me. I've got away with... No, Regis. Can't risk it. Gotta keep Detloff here while I go to Duntine. Alone? Alone. That way I can make sure neither woman will come to any harm. I hope you know what you're doing. Fine. I shall see to Detloff. Good luck, my friend. <laughs> it's gonna be only one woman if she kidnapped herself, right? <laughs> Splendidly, Detloff. Ah, oh, I'm grateful you brought back those memories. You're back! It took you long enough. Contrary to what common folk believe, choosing a wine is not nearly as easy as it might seem. Especially a wine to be served to two exquisite ladies. <laughs> Regis, gallant as ever. I regret all the more that I shan't finish this second bottle with you. Duty calls. Your grace, always a pleasure. I thank you for your help. It's been invaluable. Geralt, will you see me out? Shouldn't I take her to the castle? I'm just saying. <laughs> you have exceptional friends. This Detlaf, an intriguing man to say the least. Very hot. Slightly unstable, but that's why girls like him. Might be a handful. He tell you much about himself. Don't know him too well. He say much about himself? Not much. But I've a good sense of the true nature of those I meet. I'd not survive a week at court otherwise. So what's his? Sensitive. Sad. He carries within him the weight of a terrible tragedy. He is a good man, but lost. Which is why he comes across as grim. Uh, sensitive, I don't think it even begins to describe his kind of character. <laughs> Didn't expect the evening to end like this. Neither did I. But I have not drawn you out for a romantic stroll. Too bad. I wish to make certain you know what you are to do. Mm-hmm. Gotta go to Duntine. I've decided my guardsmen will support you. You will meet them at Count Lacroix's mill. It stands along the Saint-Retour River, near the Cockatrice Inn. 
Captain de la Tour and his men will await you there at midnight. You shall storm the castle together. Storm? But why don't they leave me alone? <laughs> now I'm dressed. <sighs> Look at me. Look how fabulously I dressed. <laughs> okay, this was pretty interesting and uh, um, intense. Uh, it was a little bit weird and uh, out of place, sort of. Uh, so, I do not trust Oriana at all. There are several reasons why. I think she's an accomplice to Siana or whoever behind Siana. And I think we might uh, be walking right into a trap. Or being purposefully, purposely, purposefully led to Siana because... Uh, they slash she want so for reasons i'm pretty sure um oriana is not human one would say obviously vampire higher vampire like that rough and bridges but is she because um i was constantly looking at her hands at some point and she has normal hands she doesn't have the vampire hands does she therefore i'd be leaning more towards braxa if anything um by the way i hate those vampire hands um i'd make them normal directly uh, because it just doesn't work it, it doesn't even the guy in Carnal Sins had uh, normal hands and he was just, what, uh, not a flatter, a ca katakan, so, pff, I mean, pff, if Oriana is a higher vampire, uh, she should have uh, weird hands at this point. Or is that uh, um, vampire sexual dysmorphism? <laughs> I don't know, it's just stupid. Also, that love is from Nazaire, isn't that curious? Well... He was told to go to Beauclair. It was not a given that he was from around here, but still, coincidence? <laughs> Did Rena Wed uh, meet him there? Did she live with him there? Probably yes. Again, curious. Curious like the ink, right? I was wondering. Why peacocks? My... my daughter is rather fond of them. There will be a treat for her. Welcome back, everybody. We are here with Count uh, Beledal. Um, searching for a flock of peacocks. And I had to record this. I had to. Because we are going to make them show their feathers. So I'm going to have revenge. We're close. Eyes in the back of your head. <laughs> Peacocks are very dangerous. Yeah, I do not... Uh, I did not intend to show this quest uh, from the beginning. But uh, when Peacocks came out, I was like, no. I need to record this for the future. For whatever. For history. I don't know. But what am I doing? What am I doing? I mean, I'm following the big yellow circles, but uh, there must be something in them. So, this guy as well has a device that uh, functions uh, almost like a video camera and uh, photo camera all together. And uh, it's quite interesting. Because imagine what we could do with that for a school of witchers. I mean, we could record all the monsters and shit and then show uh, all the stuff to the young witchers and uh, 
I mean, imagine you could film how to kill whatever monster and they're gonna learn super fast, right? What? Did I not get that because you bumped me? Is this real? Stay away from me. Go away. <laughs> I think that failed. Listen to this melodious sound. <laughs> They're so loud. I mean, they are normally loud. Oh, don't go away. A feather from the rump, coated in suet. Cock shed it recently, and the suet's got a distinct scent. Ought to be able to track the flock. Ah. Witcher in action. What a treat to watch. Yeah, yeah, film it, so... Yeah, I mean, guys, that would be perfect for... Teaching new witchers what to do stuff. <laughs> I have projects. Another one? It's just... I'm collecting them. <laughs> I should display them at Corvo Bianco somewhere in a face. Shh, hear that? They're calling to each other. Yeah, we're getting close. <laughs> I can hear them very well. They're all there, see? <laughs> Adorable. How many of them are there? So what do I do? I just go in? Oh, that's lovely. Now, if they could just splay the tails. <gasps> See what I can do. Find ah. a good spot. Ready? Use your magic, Witcher. But they're not gonna flee? Or run if I go there? But I just do. <laughs> oh my god! Poor thing! I feel so sorry! <laughs> my god, I have to do three of them! Alright then! The miracles of Axie! Oh no! <laughs> let's... Let's do it! Whoa! Oh, this will be a masterpiece! <laughs> Smile, please! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Damn it! Where did they come from? Us to follow us. Get back! Oh no, save the peacocks! <laughs> oh god! Where is it? Where is it? Get up! Save me! No, it's Good lord. All over now. Whew, that was... <laughs> that was... Tense. I, I believe I've had my fill of excitement for today. <gasps> this was so weird. Uh, I haven't looted. What a wonderful adventure. Get everything you wanted? Yes. In that case, time to get back to your camp. Returning your lord to you, safe and sound. You've our gratitude, master. You see, lads, there was nothing to fear. Thank you, Witcher, for looking after our dear count. Seems the jaunt did him wonders. Breathed some new life into him. Wait here a moment, Geralt. I have to fetch my coin pouch. Pay my dues. Is there something going on here? New life? He was feeling down? Made no mention, did he? Ten years back, his last Clarice is her name. Took a spill off her horse. Been bedridden ever since. Cannot walk of her own. She'd been the life of the house before the calamity. 
A merry sprite what filled every corner with joy. Count would oft take her out on trips. She loved animals too. Excursions um. he makes now, or rather paintings he brings home. There's her only window on the wider world. Sorry to make you wait. I was dead chuffed to be able to observe you in action. To confirm for myself there that the tales about you were not exaggerated in the slightest. You show discipline, reliability, responsibility. I dare say you'd make the ideal business associate. That's a shame you've no interest in the wine trade. One day, maybe. <coughs> Your reward. Use it well. Thanks. I have one other matter I wish to broach. In a few days' time, I shall exhibit my work for some friends, my coterie, so to speak. Would you come by? Yeah, why not? Why not, if I'm in the area? Splendid. In that case, I shall see you at my lodgings. I'm staying with a friend while in Tucson, near a village named Frankola. Eh. I'll be by. See ya. Yeah, I know the place is very pretty. So, yeah, uh, this guy makes uh, um, pictures, paints pictures from what he gets uh, recorded and stuff. It's pretty nice. Oh, this must be, yeah, the letter. Yeah, because some hunters told him where to find uh, some of the animals he needed. And this is old stuff. Yeah. His daughter is uh, named almost exactly like the girl in Heidi. Oh my god. Would you look at this? Very nice. Yeah, I like it here. Everybody drinking and feasting and it's kind of... It's picturesque meadows and untouched woodlands. A host one of the most dangerous species of Myriopoda, this side of the Yaruga. The Beauclair centipede, as it's commonly called, is seen here, proudly displaying its remarkable chitin and calcium carbonate carapace. Wow, I love that. Yeah, because he's almost like a, a naturalist. So it's so nice that... Blood uh, Oh look, those are good. <laughs> I like the girl explaining. Uh, Both male and female Beauclair centipedes are formidable predators. The bees prefer to hunt in packs. Yet the author of this extraordinary work was able to capture a lone specimen preparing to attack. Cast your eye on the hunter who, though fully aware of the danger, wears a look of cold determination on his face as he awaits the optimal moment to strike. That self-insertion. <clears throat> ah, Geralt, you're here. Wonderful. Come, please. I'm delighted to see you. I have a small gift for you, oh. and I shan't let you refuse. Is it that? Yes! You are free to sell it, of course. Yes! Though I would be honored were you to hang it in your home. Thanks. That's so nice. That's what I wanted. I was hoping he would give me one. Good crowd. You got a lot of friends. All of them seem to be fawning over your paintings, too. Oh, when you have as much coin as I do, friends buzz around like flies on fresh meat. And they praise you to high heavens for each trip, burp and sneeze. Not all are lying sycophants, that's not what I mean. Just most, unfortunately. Why bother? Why even invite them around? I'm a man of enterprise. I must put my trade before any personal hatreds or sympathies. Besides... Uh, Besides? At times, I'll exhibit a completely failed painting. 
just to listen to them twist their tongues into knots, trying to find just the right superlatives to lather on smeared rubbish. Agreed. Naturally, the more intent someone is to get into my good graces, the louder they praise my masterpiece. It's devilish fun, I tell you. This guy is so precious. And I feel so bad for his daughter. It must be hard. Talk to your guards back at the camp. Told me about Clarissa. Sorry to hear about her accident. Thank you. Kind words that mean a great deal to me. How's Clarissa these days? Probably can't wait for you to get back. <laughs> to get her gifts, you mean? I've dispatched two already. She'll not need to wait for my return. Oh. En route home, I mean to pass through Dol Blathana. They say one can see Sylvans there. Yeah, actually happened to know one. Name's Torque. Okay. He can be mean, but for the right fee, he'll do anything you ask. Splendid. I thank you for the hint. Tell him I send my regards. <laughs> Don't know anything about that. Nice meeting you. So long now. Journey with you is pure pleasure. All right then. This. This was such a, a satisfying little quest. Order for wine from Tucson. Okay. Well, I don't think there's anything here we could be interested in. <laughs> it's written very badly. Emurece? Emurece? I don't know. Roach! Is she drinking the wine? Yeah, well, she's eating the grapes. <laughs> well, I bet she's having the time of her life. That must be a treat. Hmm, so I'm gonna hang around here. Sloth? Whatever, I'm gonna hang out around here. I don't think there's anything here. Mm. Because it's so lovely and nice. This is the kind of art party that I like. <laughs> and the guy is a true artisan. Maybe not an artist, but definitely an artisan. And I do prefer artisans. <laughs> Can I look at them? <laughs> Which are taming peacocks? <laughs> <laughs> so nice. <laughs> I will remember that. It's wonderful to meet the subject of the Baron's new cycle. Such an opportunity. Enjoy the exhibit. <laughs> sure. They say a great deal about you, Witcher. And whisper it even. I will sure enjoy this. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Taming Buckler centipedes. Um that might be uh, one of the uh, works uh, that are more challenging to praise, <laughs> but it's still cool, it's <laughs> you can see the spirit behind it. And finally I have an actual pot portrait that defines me. I mean, Knightly Geralt, because uh, I had another um, artist do a portrait of Knightly Geralt, and that was a mess. And uh, he was extremely unprofessional, and I told him to just pay me and uh, stick that freaking portrait whatever he wanted. I didn't want to even see it. Letter from the wife of Count Beledal?
uh, this is good news. I mean, uh, nobody more than this guy would deserve uh, uh, the health of his daughter. Nice. Have you heard of such a thing? <laughs> what? Alright guys, so I'll be here for a while, enjoying the good weather, the good food and the good company. And... oh my god, this poor woman. <laughs> poor thing. And uh, yeah, this was a very nice, very nice little quest. Uh, heartwarming. And I'm definitely gonna... Uh, Put this painting on my wall. Absolutely. Blood of 